Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Project Ozone 3 Kappa Mode playthrough. Uh, last episode, we went ahead and set up an interface and a quantum compressor over here. And as you may see, I actually, almost like right after I stopped recording, I uh, had an idea that why am I exporting from the A system that is slow. Why don't we just export from a Mark II chest? These are super easy to uh, get because we have uh, they have EMC, so we can just get as many as we want, and then whatever we want in the thing we can do. So we're getting the singularities, as I remember. The next one would be iron singularity, so we need a block of iron. So basically, just have to. I don't know if I've actually learned a block of iron. I have not. Let's uh, learn that really quick and then we can, um, I can't believe I haven't learned that. <laughs> now we have. So basically one of those and I was doing, uh, I just threw a lime one in. Was I doing lime or was it green? I might have done the green one. I think that's what I was doing because that's a like one one billion or whatever EMC. So I'm like, that's a nice kind of even number to remember. So basically set that. There we go. And then we use the translocators to extract um, and with some glowstone. This glowstone does a stack at a time. Now, uh, I do need to craft up the quantum compressor. And as we remember, these are not easiest. So what we are doing at the moment, I have everything set here, uh, except for the eighth degree. I didn't put the advanced inscriber or the ender dragon scales in the recipe. I've just thrown those in there, kind of like what I did in this one. Um, because they have EMC, it's easy. And uh, I kind of like cheated on the recipe a little bit. So, yeah, I did like the stuff that needs to be crafted up. And then the ones with the EMC, I haven't. Uh, these electric compressors are pretty annoying as well. And so, I need to grab some wafers need these wafers but uh yeah you may notice something else in my inventory and it's noticed where'd those go yeah i had 16 magma crucibles and 16 fluid transposers because i need to upgrade this i'm finally like okay let's just upgrade this um because yeah that just takes way 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 too long so that's what I am doing at the moment. I've gone ahead and crafted this up. And I guess just trying to figure out like the best way to do it. Um, probably. Probably conduits would be my guess. Speed upgrades. I only need 15, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And I do need a interface. I guess we'll do I don't know. Goodness, one of these days. I will learn. I want to get there. We go um, into, I guess, a chest. I could do like a crate. It doesn't really matter. Um, crystal chest actually is not the best idea. Maybe a diamond. I think a diamond chest. What am I doing over the here? I don't even remember. Yeah, diamond chest. I mean, everything doesn't have to go into it, but uh, 
Actually, crate would probably be easier. No, because then I'd have to upgrade it, and I don't feel like doing that. Um, I'm just old. Do these have you? Oh, well, I just learned those. <laughs> I wasn't planning on learning that, but yeah, why not? There we go. Now we have millions of diamond chests. All right, so, I guess. So I need to get. That puts that in there. I'm just trying to think what would be. We'll do like a I don't know, Magnum Crucible. Unfortunately they're not gonna be it's definitely not gonna be even because there's it's gonna be like off center, but I'm thinking we just do oh. it's like a tower. Kind of what I'm thinking. And then that. And this is only going to be one item for crafting on this, the first degree. So I think, I think we're good, actually. Although I probably do need to, yeah, no, that needs to be blue. And probably easier to do blue and then red like that. Let me uh, get all these switched over. I don't think there is a, is there like a copy tool? I don't, I feel like there might be. I know there's one for Ender IO, but I don't, I don't remember if there's like a copy tool. Does Thermal have that? No, not that. Isn't it like something like this? Yes, there we go. There is one. I do remember that. All right, so. These, all right. They do not spawn. Well, let's do that. So basically, the back is the blue, melts it down to the and then sends it to the right. This receives the thing on there. Ah, right. E. We're gonna have to do that, I think. I think that's, yeah. So the back will get the draconium and um, it'll export the thing in the back. All right, so I think that's what we need. So so. There we go. So red prints, hold an offhand to automatically use when placed in a block. Oh, that's cool. All right, so there we go. All right, let's. All right, it's a little bit, got to be a little bit careful with it. That bottom one, that might be a bit awkward, but. All right, so sneak, right click. All right, there we go. That wasn't that wasn't that bad. All right. So we'll do 
Now this is also annoying. Maybe we should get the one that... Let's get the one for Ender IO as well. The, um... I know what it looks like. I don't remember the name of it. This thing. Undo it. Yeah. Electrical steel nugget. That's eh, not annoying or anything. Although electrical steel has... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and these do too. I, I don't want to learn, like... I guess, I don't know. is annoying. I basically just learned all those recipes. I don't want to like, I mean, the more I learn, the laggier it's going to get. So I don't want to learn absolutely everything that we don't need, but. All right, so what we do, let's see. So this is going to be I don't think draconium. Can draconium go in there? Pulverizer. Pressure. All right. I don't think it can. And the pyrothium. I'm just thinking do we need a uh, focus ball? All right. It may not actually. Is it? We have to. Oh goodness! What's the? Uh... Shift muscle. There we go. So it's. What mode is this? Promo. Right click on a to display and copy. Shift. Right click. Copy. There we go. There we go. So let's try this. I guess we'll get. I want to like. Oh, it's actually done. Oh, actually. Well, I can take that out. Yeah. It's not putting it anymore in, so. It does have a channel, so we'll put that on there. All right. So let's try this and see what it does. Um, first degree, let's do 100. Unfortunately, pyrothium does not have EMC. So I do have to that we did think about getting uh, maybe blazing pyrothium the cow um i mean that could <laughs> that could actually be a thing um also i don't mention if i mentioned i put a tank for plastic i think i did mention that um but yeah like you can get a, quite a lot from these cows, but basically, like, when you're not using them. It doesn't happen fast, but, uh, I don't know. Man, draconium. Just trying to speed this up just a little bit. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. That should do it. Oh, because I don't have any 
yeah, I didn't have any, um, there's no coprocessors on that thing, which now that they're easy to get, I could just do that. All right, so there's that. Um, I do want, all right, so here is a minor issue. <laughs> we need, if it puts the stuff in all the different, If it puts like all the different pyrothium in different ones, but then it only puts the draconium in one, that's going to be an issue. So how... I guess round robin. Would that be... Obviously when you're doing thousands, it's not... I can have more speed upgrades. The problem is it's eight to one. So if I do like... If I'm pulling out a stack, I'll pull a stack out and then throw it in there. Like, that's not going to work. Um, but I mean, that is doing that. All right, let me get this hooked up, the rest of the stuff, and uh, we'll come back. All right, so we are back, and I've tried something. I have no idea if this is actually going to work. Um, but I did two exports. One... Uh, for the pyrothium and I put some speed upgrades in. I didn't put a whole stack in, but I did 32 and I could probably increase it a little bit, but if that's pulling out four, so four draconium, it needs 32 pyrothium being pulled out. So I could probably do a stack and half like eight or something like that. Um, but we'll see if this actually works. And then I have a filter draconium gets pulled in the blue. And then this one gets put in the green. Um, don't know if you even need to do that because I don't think it can go in there. Eh, it looks like it can. Oh, wait. No, that's where it's supposed to go. Um, yeah, it can't go in there anyway. But uh, yeah, and then we have being extracted on this side to brown into the thing again. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but I don't know. We'll try. I'm sure there might be an easier way, but uh, I guess we'll just do, I've just been kind of just <laughs> throwing solars down because, you know, why not? <laughs> see, is that, yeah, there we go. Eh, it might need, well, We'll see. I don't know. How much do these? Oh, I don't have things in them. That's why. That's why. That's a bit annoying, but... Alright, but as we can see, it seems to be... It's doing that. Is there, a, like, is there a faster way to do this? I guess. Usually you don't do this many at once, but. All right. Oh, almost there. All right, so 1500. Yeah, I mean, that's getting plenty. So. Uh. I guess we'll give it a go. I have round robin on. Well, there we go. <laughs> so it seems to be working. Although I do seem to have way more pyrothium than we need, but yeah, see this is, oh, it's already. Yeah, see, well, this could be, I didn't have it set this way originally so it might be a little messed up <laughs> as we can see uh, yeah so I probably need to fix that and then uh, well you know what no. here what we'll do is let's just I'll just throw in like you know a big huge craft let's do that so 
first. Actually, why don't we try? Let's do this. We'll do. I need lots of these eights. So we have the four that we need for that. But I'm gonna need four more. So let's let's do that. And fortunately, Draconium doesn't have a thing. I've basically everything that has EMC. I've basically put in the thing. But yeah, some of this stuff doesn't. Um. It would probably, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe it would probably be faster if we use crafters, maybe. The RF tools crafters. Um, I don't know. We'll just, we'll let that go. It's I don't do this a lot, but. Uh, all right, so here's the question is. Yeah, see, I just. Yeah. Once it starts ramping up right now, it's not. It's only doing a little bit. Usually it kind of backlogs. I don't know. We'll see. But I mean, it's kind of working, right? <laughs> I don't know. Starting off a little bit messed up isn't, wasn't the best, but yeah, see, look. So five, this one is that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this works. I don't think it's going to. Um, especially if they're pulling out and sending to different ones, like if this sends the eight to like there, I don't know. We'll leave it. We'll see with a large amount what happens. But all right, so that's that. We'll just let that kind of work. We'll do this. There we go. Quantum. Presser, and I just realized I forgot to set the recipe. No! Oh, well. Well, we're going to need a whole bunch of these, so not the end of the world. <laughs> um, but I do need to set that. That's what we'll do. So, I mean, that's really actually not the end of the world. I have this set, so I can just tell it to put all that stuff in there, and it, it'll put all the items in, then I can just shift-click in there. That's not really an issue. But, all right. So we'll come over here and place this down. Place this ultimate catalyst in there. Don't shift-click it in, because that won't work. How am I, am I powering this underneath, or how am I, yeah. I'm also uh, debating, should we, um, should we craft up the Draconic Evolution uh, power energy thing? I don't know. Just throwing like solar panels down just everywhere is <laughs> not an issue at all. Um, all right, so we got blocks of iron in there, and we got this one, so we just need to throw a Second one on there, and then we so right click, yeah, right click. So obviously the one with the where it's going in is the end. So all right, well there we go, and there is our iron singularities. So that's a little bit faster than <laughs> a little bit faster than the uh, the other way I was doing it. Now question is. How am I going to get this into a system? Um, I was debating storage buses is kind of what I was thinking. Um, but there's going to be 81 of these, so I'm going to have to do... It's going to be a bit awkward. Yeah, I... Poly extract only. I was debating. I'm like, do we need to set these? But poly extract only would be fine. Um, I think that's what we'll do. Because I want to have this automated so I can just click a button and get infinity catalysts. Unless I 
could do maybe hmm, I'm having an idea here. What happens if I don't know if this is actually gonna work? But if we have an ultimate crafting table with the automation interface on it, it's just set up like over here. We just enter IO conduit stuff into the automation interface. I actually don't know if that I have no idea if that actually works. Now, I just asked that because like I have crafting stuff in here and it'll pull in. And if we see, if we take this out, it's going to fill up the recipe, whatever the recipe saved. Um, so this is the automation interface. So it's putting the whatever items it gets in there. So I'm kind of wondering, like, if we pipe this in with Ender IO conduits, is it going to recognize that? I don't know, but I'm kind of thinking it might. Um, but to do that, I do want, I do need, um, I do need more, another table, and those tables are annoying to craft up, so we will wand of animation it. Is that black iron? That's right. Just a couple. <laughs> So let me do this. There go. All right. Let me spawn some more of these. And then, uh, yeah, let me set this up and see if this works. Let me craft up a, this is a nine by nine crafting. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me craft up. Let me get some more crafting tables. Let me uh, get another automation in place and let's see if that will pipe in. Oh, that's right. I won't have all the items, so I can't. I won't be able to find out until I can actually make the recipe. All right. Uh, yeah, that's going to. But let me craft that up and then we'll come back. All right. We are back and I've got. Uh, three more i don't think we'll need them but um it spawns uh four um yeah so this totally didn't work <laughs> which i didn't think it was going to um but i had to basically manually remove all the things and it was just all sorts of crazy so i'm thinking that's probably not the best way to do this i think um i think i'm gonna get rid of a whole bunch of the fluid transposers and just Funnel it all into one or two is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, also, the pyrothium is definitely um, one of the slowest bits. So I may try to come up with uh, maybe using the crafters from RF tools. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I kind of need to figure that out. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, it definitely, like, decreased the amount of time with all those fluid transposers. So I'm just going to do some, you know, testing and kind of just see what uh, I want. I, I could look up, like, some other, like, YouTube series and see what they do, but I'm trying to, you know, do it on my own for the most part. Um, but I just want to save that. Yep. All right. So that's kind of what I figured was going to happen. Uh, with this stuff in there. So yeah, we'll just kind of leave that and I'll just, you know, maybe throw, well, it's going to be put two in there. So that's eight stacks. And then I guess we could throw another, another stack of that. That'll fill up each of the, for a full stack of each thing. But, uh, all right, so there is, well, I thought there was, wasn't there? Yes, I need to get that. Uh, I don't have that taken care of, actually. I may need to switch these, or I could just pipe it into like this or something. I just need to pipe it back into the A system. Um, all right, we'll figure that out. I'm thinking, We'll probably just do. I always do that. I always hold shift. I don't need to. 
Uh, there'll probably be another one here, so yeah, I'll probably switch. Probably switch one of these two. Right, we'll just do that. I don't know if you actually have to do the arrow thing, but I kind of always have when I have set it up to pipe stuff into it, so. Uh, no, conduits. So that, that, that one. Yeah, so I think that this will... Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, so there is two things automated. <laughs> um, so we got the quantum compressors and the automation interfaces. So go ahead and throw another one down and then we can move on here. Um, still not sure. Like how this will work. Um, because I haven't tested it and I don't know if there's like an easy way to test it. But it would basically be I can't open that. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um if I was if like this chest wasn't here and we were Ender conduing it in. I just don't know if that would actually work. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to unless I could test it with like, I just don't feel like breaking anything. <laughs> um, but I could test it. But basically, what I'm thinking is maybe just having a. Let me craft up another. We're going to need another automation interface. So let me craft up another one of those. Hopefully we have everything that, yeah. I forgot to put the quantum compressor in. Uh, this, I haven't, yeah, there's a bit of an issue with this because it, I'm using this for two recipes. Oh, that's not, uh, I'll just manually put it in. Yeah, I need to get, I need to make nine of these and make a block and spawn it. All right, uh, but I need to get more, and just more of everything, basically. I need to craft up more mob duplicators. I think I'm gonna put maybe on top. I put this here because sometimes they were spawning on top of the block and I didn't want that. Um, Cause it can spawn on top. Um, so maybe get rid of this block and put another one on top. I don't think it's going to be cause issues because they're getting teleported away so fast. I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of just, you know, uh, figure out uh, what I want to do with that. But I definitely need more because although we are getting quite a bit, the problem is we need these, and then we need these, and we need lots and lots and lots of those. So we're going to have to ramp that up. So lots of just kind of ramping everything up, basically, is kind of where we're at right now. Um, I do think most of the singularities have EMC like Lapis does, Redstone, but some of these might not. And we're going to have an issue with that, I think. But basically, I'm just going to go along and keep crafting up quantum compressors and see Lapis lose the block. We're good. Quite a uh, decent amount of EMC, though. So, um, I don't know. We'll just kind of see how it goes and... Play it by ear, and I think I may actually end up, I don't know. 
I don't know what the easiest way to feed. Should I just throw like the biggest one in? I don't, I don't know. We just throw like a fading matter in. Um, I have. I don't. Um, but the other thing I was thinking, I need to start kind of cleaning up the base. I've been saying this for about well, 50 episodes now that I need to clean up the base. And, um, I'm thinking I need to start getting rid of a lot of stuff that we don't need. Um, there is quite a bit of stuff that we don't need anymore. There we go. Oh, I need an ultimate catalyst too. Um, but like, for example, like these, we're never going to use these ever again. Those need to go. Uh, I probably don't need this chicken thing anymore. I don't think we're going to be spawning any more mobs in. We're not going to have to get the mob DNA thing. Um, these can go. Since we have EMC for these blocks, I was using this for furnaces, but we don't need that anymore. Do furnaces actually have a... Yeah, furnaces even have EMC. So this can go, and probably all this can be broken down. And uh, yeah, just kind of go through and break everything down that we don't like. This doesn't... Do we need any of this? Nah, nah. Snowballs we don't need anymore. We have EMC, so... These can probably all go, but... Uh, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So we're just kind of working towards the Infinity Catalyst and uh, yeah, just ramping everything up. So yeah, I also have to fix this. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.